Section 5.1 Transformations of Functions in this function. <clears throat> section 5.1 Transformations of Functions. In this section, we are going to look at shifting graph vertically, horizontally, reflecting graph, dashing graph vertically, horizontally, and order of transformations. For the first part, shifting graphs vertically and horizontally. Let the function f of x <coughs> section 5.1 transformations functions. This section we are going to look at shifting graphs vertically and horizontally, stretching graphs vertically and horizontally, reflecting graphs and order of transformations. Let's look at shifting graphs vertically and horizontally. Let f of x be a function and let h and k be a fixed real number. The graph of the gx, which is from the function f of the input x minus h, has the same shape as the graph there, but shifted h unit to the right if h is positive and h unit to the left if h is negative. The graph of the gx is in a form of the f of x plus k, has the same shape as the graph the f, but tipped k units up if k is positive and tipped k units down if, x, if k is less than zero. <clears throat> section 5.1 transformations of functions in this section we are going to look at shifting graph setting graph stretching graph and order of transformations setting with shifting graphs vertically and horizontally let f of x be a function and let h and k be a fixed real number. The graph of the gx equals f of the input x minus h has the same shape as the graph of the f, but shifted h unit to the right if h is positive, shifted h unit to the left if h is negative. The graph of the gx, which is in the form of f of x plus k, has the same shape as the graph of the f, but tip the k units up if k is positive and tip the k up, uh, k units down if k is negative. For reflecting graphs, given a function f of x, the graph of the function gx equals negative f of x is the reflection of the graph of the f with respect to the x-axis. Let it flip over from the left to the right, uh, from the upper portion to the lower portion or vice versa. And the graph of the function f of x equals <coughs> for reflecting graphs. Given function f of x, the graph of the function gx equals negative f of x is the reflection of the graph the f with respect to the x-axis. Or we can say that if the graph is on the upper portion, it will be reflecting about the x-axis to be down below or vice versa. In another case, the graph of the function gx equals function of negative x is the reflection of the graph with respect to the y-axis. In this situation, it's going to be the graph that flips from the left to the right to the right about the y-axis. Next one, stretching graphs vertically and horizontally. Given the function f of x, let a be a positive real number. The graph of the function gx equals a times f of x is stretches vertically compared to the graph of the f if a is positive or a is greater than one. Vertically compared to the graph of the f if a is greater than zero, less than one. The graph of the function gx equals f of a times x is horizontally 
compare to the graph of the f by a factor of 1 over a. If a is greater than 1, the graph compressed horizontally compared to the graph of f by a factor of 1 over a if a is between 0 and 1. The four basic functions that we're going to be based on would be the set of these function graphs. For y equals x, which is a straight line with a slope 1, <clears throat> or when x equals y, the so y equals x is the value of the x of the v-shaped graph. y equals x squared, which is a parabola. y equals the square root x is the radical or, or the square root of the graph. The domain is the non-negative number for the x, so that's why the graph appears only on the right side of the xy plane, or the upper part for the y. And y equals x to the third, which is a cubic graph, and the cube root of the x. These two are similar. Um, one is the power, 3. This one is the cube root. And uh, the other one is y equals 1 over x, or the reciprocal function graph, where x is not defined as 0. That's why we have the vertical asymptote of x equals 0, and the graph appears on the left and on the right of the line x equals 0.